Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I am once again looking very pale because I wanted to do another full face video. This time I'm going to be trying to do a full face with the ColourPop Good Sport palette. This is a recommendation in my comments on I think one of the first full face videos that I did, and as soon as I heard that recommendation I was like, oh that's gonna be good, because like this is one of my top favorite ColourPop palettes, and one of my top five palettes I think of all time. This just screams fall. I, I love this color story, I love the formulas, I love the shades, it's just spectacular. So the thought of trying to challenge myself to do a full face, so bronzer, contour, eyebrows, eyeshadow, everything, with this palette was very interesting. So I honestly I have no clue how this video is going to turn out. I wanted to go in kind of blind on this so that I could just like test this out and experience it and really bring you guys along for the ride because not every, as you've seen, if you've seen any of my previous full face videos, not every one turns out perfect, but there is something we can learn from each one. And this is something I love to do because back when I didn't really have that much makeup or a big makeup collection, I had to multitask and use products for different things. And the thought of really taking this seriously and doing full faces with palettes that people may already have laying around, I really just I want to make that more I guess commonplace because I know now maybe less so than it was back in 2016 2017 the big makeup collection is a privilege and it's not something everybody has and so I really like to put myself back into where I was in like 2014 2015 where I couldn't even afford to get like a bronzer and really take this seriously and go in and not make it just like a tag and like oh what am I gonna do but I want to take it seriously and do my best to put together a very wearable look using just one palette. So I'll throw the last one I did up in the cards I believe it was the Natasha Denona Sunset palette that I did and oh, I'm excited so let, let's jump in. So I zoomed you in a little bit, and as you can see, I, I'm pale. I am Casper. I am a ghost. <laughs> Hello. So I did foundation, concealer, and powder. That's it. So I have a nice good base to begin from. I want to start with... I was thinking of doing my brows first, but I think we're going to do bronzer first. And I think the only shade I could really try to use as bronzer is this shade right here. So the only downside to this is that these are such small pan sizes. It's going to be difficult to get, you know, these shades onto brushes. So what I am going to try and do is take these duo fiber brushes. Let me grab my other one. So. I have two duo fiber brushes, one from uh, Luxie and then one from uh, Sigma. And I think these are small enough and I can kind of get them into these pans. So I'm going to take a little bit of that shade called High Hopes, load it up on the brush. There's a little bit excess there, so I'm going to tap off just a little bit. So we still have a decent amount of product there. And I'm just going to lightly, lightly <laughs> tap this where I would want to bronze. So right up here and right over here and that blended out so nice this is something i learned from my last video is that sometimes if you go in with shadows with a like dense brush say like my regular bronzer brush you might just stick product somewhere and it might not blend out um so i tr i thought using like a stipple brush or a duo fiber brush like this to just like place the product and then blend it out would work a bit better and so far i think it is even this out a little bit okay so it did come out a tiny bit patchy like right towards the edges over here but we were able to add color and dimension to the face so the next step is going to be contour now now there really isn't an obvious choice for contour here this seems very very warm and then this i think is going to be way too dark but it's cool toned so i think i'm gonna try and do that same thing and go into the really light hand you know if anything I, I might take a fluffy eyeshadow brush to try and contour away. So I've got this big, ooh, there was powder on there. I've got this big fluffy uh, Shot Miss A brush that's slightly, let's see if you can see it, uh, angled. And I'm going to lightly dip it into this kind of greenish gray shade because I think this is the tone I'm looking for for a contour. And I'm going to tap off the excess so I really only have a little bit. 
and light, lightly contour. Because the whole point of the contour is to really draw shadows. So if we just use this with a super light hand, it's dark. <laughs> it's dark. I'm hoping we can get that same effect. So it didn't blend out perfectly, but I do think it is the same kind of tone that we're looking for. Ooh, that's a stripe. <laughs> Oops. Blend. There we go. Now for blush. I, I've really been recently having fun with like yellow blushes and there is a yellow shade in here, but I think for this look, see, I, I kind of want to use the yellow and maybe the greens for an eye look. So I'm thinking maybe for the blush, I could go towards like this purple and maybe this purple. So I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics blush brush and kind of just brush off, maybe color switch the shades off and go into this purple. This is kind of the same shade as my Franken blush that I made using my Pan That palette. If you missed that video, I'll throw it up in the cards. Ooh. But I've really been into like, but like in your face blush because, well, I've been working from home <laughs> and I've just been able to like play more with makeup like this. Uh, and I think purple is just such a pretty blush color. I'm not a huge fan of purple eyeshadow, but like this nice purple toned. Ah, oh, I, lo I love that. I love how that looks. Okay, so I'm going to take a duo fiber from ColourPop and just blend that in. I think so far this blush is looking the best because that's just a nice ooh, pop of color. I might have to even it out a little bit. I think I did a little bit too much on this side. So let's add a little bit more to this side to even it out. Okay, so okay, so looking at it all together so far, I like this. I would definitely wear this out. It, once it's all together, it, like it looks a lot more cohesive and nicer. Nice. Okay, so I think the next step, oh, we need highlighter. Let's do highlighter next. So to me, the kind of obvious highlighter option would be this lightest shimmer shade. So we're going to just try that first and see how it looks. So I'm going to take my ABH highlighting brush and just kind of load it up tap off the excess. It's a little dark but really pretty. I love testing highlighters on my Cupid's bow because you can always go in and like touch up or for me I, f I found it's easier for me to touch up in this area than it is for me to like redo this whole area if it's not a good shade. So I really do love testing it on the Cupid's bow and that does look pretty. So I am gonna load up my brush again, tap off the excess and let's go on the cheeks. Ooh, that's nice. Do, do, do. And yeah, for good measure, I'll just do a little bit on the tip of the nose. Ooh, that looks nice. And then once again, just to blend everything together because I love a good blend. My duo fiber brush. And here we are so far. Ooh, okay. Can I just say I am, I'm impressed. I'm definitely doing better than I thought I would so far so here we have this next i want to do eyebrows and i might jump off to do this because i also i forgot to prime my eyeballs so i need to prime the closest shade i have for my eyebrows is going to be this dark shade this like green cool tone gr gr green gray gray green gr i'm sure there's a word for green gray but it's not coming into my brain right now so i'm going to use this for my eyebrows. I'm just going to set them with a little bit of clear brow gel and then I will prime my eyes and we will come back to dig into this because I really want to do a nice yellow green look. Okay so we are back. I did a little bit of cleanup down here so I took my loose powder and I just baked a little bit underneath both sides just to clean up my edges because I didn't think I did 100% a great job of blending out the bronzer and contour but overall this looks really nice and I do like it. So for the brows, it definitely looks a little lighter, warmer, maybe, that I'm used to, but it, it's not bad. I would definitely like use this again. I would definitely leave the house looking like this. The brows, not bad. So now for the eye look. Since there's so many beautiful like green shades in here, I really wanted to do a green look. And I specifically love this shade. It's called um, Ebb, 
I want to use that all over the lid. So I think I'm going to use this for my transition and this to deepen it out. And I really want to do a sharp wing. So I want to use my handy dandy card trick to make a nice sharp wing. So I am going to first go in with this light green gray shimmer and I am going to use that to build up my transition. So this comes out a lot more gray than green once you blend it out. I think if you were to take it on a, um, a more condensed, dense brush, it might look a little bit more shimmery and a little bit more green. But this is kind of what I'm going for with this shade because I want this next deeper shade to really be not the star of the look, but to really define, at least the outside of the look. So this is really just to provide the transition into that darker green shade for the wing. And then I really want the bright green shade to pop all over the lid. Okay, so we have the transition done. I'm going to take my card. Well, first I'm going to load up a blending brush with that dark gray shade. And then we're going to put the card up. So I'm going to try and make these even. I'm not the best at making these even. And just build this color up first to make the wing. It's a little high. Actually, I might bring that a little bit lower. I think I did that a little too high. There we go. Perfect. And then we will bring this slightly in. I want to keep it still to the outer third, but bring it in just slightly to blend out. So now that I have all my matte shades done, I'm going to go in with this NYX Glitter Glue and then all over my lid I'm going to take this beautiful bright green shade. I'm really excited. <laughs> This looks so pretty. I'm like really happy with how it's turning out so far. So I'm gonna do mascara and then for my inner corner highlight, I'm just gonna take the same shade we used as our highlight shade and use that for my inner corner. So this is our final look. I have to say, oh, I got a little fallout down here. I have to say overall, I am really impressed. Like I'm kind of shocked at how well this turned out. It was a little patchy at first, but once I blended it together and everything came together, it looked so nice. Love the eye look, but I really love this palette for the eye looks that I could create. So, not super surprised there, but I'm surprised at how well like the eyebrows, the bronzer, the contour, the blush, the highlight. It, to, I would use this as a face palette. I totally would. And ah, uh, it's definitely fall. So I think I'll probably do this more often once it's like officially fall. But this turned out so nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed another one of these full face videos. If there is a palette in my collection you want me to try this challenge with because this was a suggestion and I never really would have tried this if it wasn't suggested to me and it turned out so nice. So please leave your other suggestions in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.